Hello guys, it's uh, Quinn from Toxic Addiction here today, making a tutorial on Adobe After Effects CS5 on how to render, as you see in the title, because you probably searched that, or you just came across this video in the sidebar or on our channel. If you haven't checked out our channel, check that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm sick today, so uh, I'm off school, and I thought I'd just make a basic tutorial, just because it, it passes the time and whatever, so, yeah. <coughs> if you hear me sneezing and coughing, I'm fine, I'm not dying. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, what you're gonna wanna do in this is just, like, write import a file. So, this is just a, uh, automatic fire muzzle flash one I have. It's pretty good. Uh, so, or, uh, yeah, uh, so to render, you're just gonna go to uh, composition. It's different. It's not um, it's not in file. Uh, whereas like in uh, Sony Vegas Pro, uh, it's all like uh, you go into file and then it's render as and everything. But you're gonna want to go to composition, <clears throat> and then go to composition settings. Uh, you're gonna want uh, in basic your Presets gonna be on custom width 1280 height 720 uh, lock aspect ratio. I'm pretty sure all these settings are on default, but I'm not sure. So uh, just pause the video, take a look at this um, frame rate. I don't really know what that has to do with it, but resolution full. That's about it. There's nothing really in advance you have to do. That's just making it like 3D and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so then you're just gonna press OK and click on composition and add to render queue. There is no uh, button that just says uh, render, it is add to render queue, and then it'll bring up this page down here. It actually makes a new tab down here. So now the render queue is right there. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, render settings you're going to want on best settings right there. Uh, output module, lossless, which is just that first one that should be default. And then you can output to, uh, by clicking on that, you can output it to like you can change the name and everything. It's just like what you saved it as. And then you just click render. So, let's see. So, it's very fast rendering because the clips aren't usually that long. It's not like it's not like a seven hour render like usually on Sony Vegas and stuff like that and Cinema 40. So that's about it. After that yellow bar goes across, you've rendered and you'll notice uh, these go away like uh, the yellow goes away so you can't really click on them. And that's about it. So uh, that's that's how to uh, render in Adobe After Effects in HD because that's best quality and most people want it to be like that uh, because it looks better obviously uh, so yeah that's about it it's a very short video guys I'll be making uh, more tutorials soon uh, Shane might be making some too he was in uh, how to render in Cinema 40 Tutorial, I think he was here when I was doing that so uh, yeah he might be making some Brandon will probably be making some more videos I don't really know what Brandon's up to so he usually just makes random videos whenever he feels like it kind of like I'm doing right now so yeah that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching um,